Here we are at Nottingham's Albert Halls, the venue for today's press conference, Lee Wood versus Michael Conlon. It got very, very spicy when the two of them met here a couple of weeks back. We expect more of the same today. Sixteen months ago, I think it was my last fight. I had a bit of an illness, and thought my career was over. To be honest, I had a bit of a solid time the last couple of years, being um, being up the wall. But I'm back, fit, healthy, ready to fight. So I'm excited and um, happy, happy to be here. A lot of sleepless nights. I had an operation, you see, and like an eighty percent chance you're gonna lose half your lung. And, like sort of that's my career done then if that's the case you know what I mean so it was um it was hard it was hard at first but hopefully happily and ever and they ended up sorting and got in touch with different surgeons and it all all come well in the end really all good very good sharp fit ready ready to fight back on the big show what do you think of the main event have you got a prediction on that at all we'll come punch a bit but then Conlon's very good, for, very good boxing, and he's well schooled. He's good, good amateur background, all the lot of it. So I see it being tight, but maybe Conlon on points. How are you, Juan Carlos? Good to see you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Nottingham, the first of two press conferences here today ahead of a huge night of boxing, the WBA featherweight championship of the world between Nottingham's Lee Wood and Belfast Michael Conlon this Saturday live on zone all around the world. As I've said before, almost 10 years since Carl Froch's historic victory in Nottingham Arena. We've been looking to bring a mega fight back to this city for some time, 10,000 sellout, on Saturday, the atmosphere going to be incredible. It made the most sense to get me on this card. I was calling out for it, to be honest, because um, I knew it would be a massive event, and it, as you can see, it is, you know. So, uh, big shout out to you and shout out to Dillian Fasorna and the team. I remember when I first got the call and got told the undercard I'd be on, I couldn't believe it, because it's literally 20 minutes up the road for me. Like, it's my home city, and I'm blessed to be able to make my pro debut on such a big card, on my mate's undercard, as he defends his world title in my home city, you know, thank you to MTK and to Matchroom. I've had a terrible, terrible couple of years, um, thinking my career was going to be over, say the last 12 months, but thankful it's not, and I've got a good opportunity here back on another good show, and I want to thank yourself and Matchroom Boxing for uh, giving me the opportunity, and I want to push on for titles now at the end of the year. Sí, claro que sí, este... So yeah, first and foremost, I have to say thanks for bringing me once again to the UK. I'm really, really happy to be here, uh, and I'm facing a great opponent. Um, so it's great to be have this opportunity once again to show people in the UK that, that you know, I'm still a big thing in, in boxing. I think 2022 is is the year that I plan on, like you said, making a statement in the world rankings and and stepping up and challenging and winning world titles. So Miguel Vasquez is the first step in doing so, and um, I've been building quite on the DL, kind of on the MTK shows, on the small hall scene for the last couple of years, putting in big performances, and um, now it's my first, my first kind of show on the big stage, and I'm looking forward to showing everybody what I can do. 
Sí, ¿qué tal? Buenas, buenos días para todos. Cuando I was offered this fight, you know, most of my fights that I've had in my career have been against as have been for world titles. So I train as if it's a world title fight and I've been training as if this was a world title fight even though it isn't. So I always ready and, and I always have accepted the big challenges and I think champions are built over time. So I'll be facing up to this fight as if it was a world title fight. Y lo tomo con el compromiso de lo que requiere una pelea. Yeah, she's fit. I respect her as a fighter. She's um for great champions. But I know I'm different and she'll see that Saturday night. But honestly, if I have to outbox this girl, I'll outbox it. If I have to go to war, I'm going to go to war. Sí, pues, este, venimos bien preparados. I really enjoy taking on challenges and this will be, you know, another one for me. Uh, we did take this, this fight at very short notice, but we were already preparing, we were running and we were training and waiting for this opportunity to present itself. Me gusta tomar retos y voy por uno más. He's got a good record and I expect a, a tough fight Saturday night, but I've, I've prepared well and I've been um, spawned great. Everything's went to plan in, in camp and I have no complaints, so I can't wait to get in there and, and just put on a good performance. I feel like you're going to see a, a different side to my game Saturday with him being a, a southpaw. Um, I feel like he'll bring out the best in me in terms of I can box a bit more um, and open him up a bit more. Bueno, un gusto, es la verdad que estar acá. Yeah, so here we are accepting the challenge. Um, it was put to us. We're really pleased to be here. And once the offer came in, you know, we took it with both hands. I'm just excited to be here at the new weight division and um, just fully focused on what's ahead and, and what, what's to come this year. <laughs> yeah. Move. We are. Here we are for the big one, the WBA Featherweight World Championship between Nottingham's Lee Wood and Belfast's Michael Conlon. My confidence comes from my preparation. Preparation has been fantastic, as I say continuously. I'm very, very confident, very relaxed. We're here in Nottingham. It's time to go. Um, there's not much more to say other than I really can't wait for Saturday night. I know what kind of performance is coming on Saturday night. This is the most relaxed and calm I've ever been on a fight week. I don't feel any pressure. I'm here in the opponent's back garden. You know, I got to rip the belt off him. You know, everybody's here to see him. I've got fans coming, but I've fought in front of thousands already, so it's nothing new. But you know, I'm just here to do a job. Um, I hope Lee has had a fantastic training camp. I hope he's the best Lee Wood there's ever been because I believe it will be um, and it'll make it all the sweeter when I beat him. Can't quite believe uh, we're here back in Nottingham and your story is an incredible one. I remember watching you in Hull many, many years ago when you were weight drained down at Super Bantamweight and getting stopped by Gavin McDonnell in a, in a massive shock upset at the time. A lot of people felt that your career might be over. The way you've built yourself back up through all kinds of adversity to get yourself in this position, it is an incredible story. And I guess in your mind, you have to make the absolute most of this opportunity on Saturday. I'm, I'm buzzing to be here. It's been a long, hard road to get here. Back in 2014, terrible night. That was a terrible night. But um, you know, I knew the reasons behind it, and I went away and corrected them. Um, same with both the defeats that I've suffered. I hadn't suffered defeats in this fall. I just keep chipping away and hope something comes. I went away, changed my team. Um, improved as a fighter, stay disciplined, live the life. And that's why I'm bringing this big night back to Nottingham. And, you know, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happy with my camp for this fight. I couldn't be happy with my team. Everything's on point. And like Mick said, I've got the best version of him. He's got the best version of me. There's no excuses after the fight. The best man I win. Nick, how you doing? I'm here with the great Kerry Harper. I've heard, what have I heard about Nick? Uh, she's your biggest fan. My biggest fan? Biggest fan. I'm, I'm over the moon with that, Nick. Hope to see you Saturday night. Enjoy. Nice. Best of luck, guys. Best of luck. Best of luck. Best of luck. I think it was one or four o'clock or something. Thanks for Thank you. Thanks a million. Thanks, Cliffy. Thank you very much, guys. I fucking admire your life because, in, in ways, you, you know yourself with pressure and fights going to corners, what's going to be wrong. Every one of yours is really fucking oh, no. You've been trolling oh, no. the deep end. I must be paying the boys because it's people hard. are blaming you and Josh. But the judges always, always, always. Two minutes later. Sorry. <laughs>
All good? Yeah, you okay? Yeah, not too bad. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah feeling good. Feeling good. Can we see your kit? Yes. <laughs> yeah, feeling good. Bang on with, so can't... Thought that leg was on. <laughs> um, so can't complain, yeah. How was training? Yeah, it was alright. Just late session. Nice blue. Oh, sati. Uh, Scion. That's the one. Very nice. The kit for tomorrow. Who's Conan? My nephew. Oh, cute. <laughs> He's on the back of all my, all my shorts. Feeling good before weighing day? Yeah. Gotta go get some food shortly. Um, but yeah, it's been, been perfect. Like, I'm not struggling for weight or anything, so I can't really complain. Yeah. yeah. What does the focus move to once the weighing's out the way? Just get the weighing out of the way, go hydrate, make sure I'm hydrating properly, getting the right um, fluids and fuel in the body, and then just rest up. And, Keep a head clear for the, or Saturday. I know you love Nando's. Is that your go-to meal? Yeah. So I'll uh, I've got my creatine protein. Get some ban bananas and water tomorrow, and then straight the Nando's. All you can eat, everything, <laughs> literally. And then I'll have an Italian tomorrow night. And what will you do for the rest of the night now? Just chill out. Gonna go get some food here now. Um, have something late before bed, and then just chill out. Stick the movie on. Got my PS5 as always. And uh, <laughs> yeah, just relax. What film? Oh. <laughs> Last Kingdom. <laughs> Last Kingdom, been watching that so pretty camp, so I'll take that one. <laughs>